Hi everybody, I'm Darshan and I live at Ananda Sisi, a small community and guest retreat where we offer courses in spirituality and also where we um, try to integrate spirituality in all aspects of life, daily life. So there may be some confusion about what spirituality really is, but for me, for us, it comes down to simply that part within us that is spiritual, that is not um, infected by anything regarding matter, physical body. It's not infected by negative emotions like fear or anxiety. It is free because it is spirit. It's not matter. So spirituality is that within us that is free. It's it can be perceived in the heart, it can be felt. There is always something within us that is free that observes. Now, how do we access that? <clears throat> there are many ways. And in spirituality, we can talk about God, devotion to God. We can talk about the disciple-guru relationship. These are very interesting things and they inspire some people a lot and other people not so much. Another approach to spirituality can be psychological. And that's very interesting because with psychology, you can only base whatever you do on your own inner experience. You can't say um, the guru is an enlightened master and you haven't experienced that yet. But when you speak about psychology, when your approach to spirituality is psychological, then you have to work with what you already know about your own mind and how your mind works and how you experience your own subconscious mind and then you take it from there. So, um, in traditional psychology we work with the subconscious mind and the conscious mind or they also say the unconscious mind and the conscious mind and so there's a lot of different currents in that and it's fascinating it's very interesting spiritual approach to psychology would also add to that the superconscious mind and what is very important to um, to realize is that the superconscious mind is just as much a part of our consciousness our potential as the subconscious mind and the conscious mind it's just that in order to realize that to access to that higher dimension of higher consciousness you need to get some basic knowledge and that basic knowledge is connected with the human psyche so it's something that we can explore okay there are qualities that are connected with the superconscious mind like um, intuition inspiration joy um, a type of love that doesn't change when the moon changes, you know, that's always there. Mm, peace and qualities like that. And we can use our knowledge of the human psyche, our intuition, intuitive knowledge and also our intellectual knowledge, and then to gain um, access to this higher dimension through various practices, technical techniques, etc. So that's what we will be doing next week. There will be a course on this subject. It's called The Hidden Properties of the Superconscious Mind. And um, it will be on Thursday next week. I think it's the 25th of April. doesn't really matter. You can find it on ananda.it, course calendar April. And I hope you will join me there. It will be wonderful together with you to explore this, to explore this wonderful unknown but very real dimension to our own psyche and to our own heart of hearts thank you see you soon joy to you